Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. We are in beautiful and sunny Florida and we're here to show you Ocean Class 68 Hybrid. If you haven't checked out our Patreon page yet, the link is in the description below. Check it out. We're giving away a chance to join us on the yacht tour on our Patreon page. If you're new to the channel, make sure you stay till the end for the outtakes. As I told you, we are going to be showing you guys something super unique and interesting today. This is the future. We are on board of Ocean Class 68 Hybrid, and we are joined by a very special person. This is Udo. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. He's one of the founders of Yacht Sales International and he knows everything about this yacht. We are here going to pick his brain, ask him difficult questions, probably not difficult for him. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to explain to you guys how this whole technology works and talk about this beautiful yacht. Awesome. Welcome aboard. So we are on this massive swim step. <laughs> hydraulic, I'm assuming. Yes, of course, hydraulic and with the built-in dinghy trucks. Ah. Oh, that is awesome. How do you feel about this dinghy master? I love it, especially when you're at anchor and your dinghy is in the water, you just tuck it away there. No one breaks their toes. Phenomenal. Behind yeah. you is that awesome ladder right feature that I love that we've seen on other yachts. Yep. Yeah, when you lower the platform, that deploys your staircase. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, definitely would use it all the time. I mean, how big is this? I mean, that's a really large swim, <laughs> swim platform. For a 68-foot yacht, this yeah, is very yeah. large. How big of a tender could you put up here? Uh, you can put easy a 12-foot tender on here. Yeah. Just want to point out there are the two cable masters, which are, looks like both 50 m Both 50 yeah, m's. Yeah. yes. Entrance to the crew quarters, that's which we're going to check out that's later. That's the stern entrance, and you have a top entrance too, so you got the two entrances, what oh. is required for E-Class as well. Perfect. So this is an ocean-going yes. vessel. It's rated for CE certification E-Class, what is ocean-going. So there are sub several points, what have or criteria what have to be met so you can get an A-class, what happens with structure, structures in the windows, and drainage in the deck, what we will see when we walk through, that there's extra drainage, so if you get water on the foredeck, so it's secure that it can drain fast enough. Perfect, thanks for explaining. People are always asking us, like, can this cross an ocean? Can this go in, you know, crazy weather? So yeah. that's, that's yeah. a great way of just, explaining um, it. Just ahead. see this here, since we're walking up here, this transom shower, beautiful transom shower, actually, <laughs> mounted right here on this staircase. I think there's only one on the port side right now. Correct. Yeah. Oh, that's the control for the swim platform, so and it comes with two remote controls. Nice. So you can literally awesome. sit in your tender, go yeah. in the water, drive away, bring the platform up with the remote, so the platform is not in the water when you go. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. And the remotes yeah. are floatable, so if you drop them in the water, they don't sink. Nice. Some someone was thinking there. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. So then um, we got um, two pretty large winches right here, capstans, and yes. then um, a good sized cleat as well for the stern. You will see on Green or Ocean Class, what is built by Green Line, mm -hmm. you will always recognize all the hardware is extra strong, sturdy, very, very well built. I like it. All right, so uh, we're in a cockpit. Carpets. This table is stunning. I mean, it easily could have dinner for 10. Yeah, easily. With some yeah, deck put chairs, some chairs yeah. around. Yeah. On this size of a yacht, you don't always have this really cute doors there in the mm -hmm, in the transom. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you could see them, but it just makes yep. you feel like a much larger yacht. 
feel like usually like 80 and up is when, you know, Really wide walkways to too down yeah. to the swim platform. That is entrance to the engine room. Mm -hmm. uh, you have entrance through the crew cabin in the engine room or directly from up Perfect, here. okay. And then I see, I assume, there's a sunshade. There's which a is, sunshade. Yeah, if you have the afternoon sun right. coming from the aft, like um, you can just lower that down, keep yeah, it a lot cooler in the cockpit. Beautiful. I love it. The one other thing I want to point out is the, the lighting. Um, indirect lighting. I really like it. You have the regular lighting, overhead lighting, and then you have some um, kind of like hidden away light, lighting stripes, LED lighting stripes, strips, strips, strips. <laughs> LED lighting strips. I'm affecting I you always, with my stripes. That's yeah. why you keep saying stripes <laughs> now. Which I always appreciate and like a lot. Oh, and you still have some indirect lighting as yes. well. Yeah, exactly. All that around. around there. One thing I want to point out yep. from all Green Line and Ocean Glass, the teak work they do is a really oh, solid, yeah. massive teak, not a plywood. It's a real well-built teak. Yeah, it feels also amazing as well. Also walking on it, you, you feel it feels yeah, amazing. Yeah, definitely. All right, we're going to go forward. When you walk forward, you recognize that you have protected walkways. Yep. All the way forward. Wow, look at, look at how thick this is. Yep. Yeah, Ooh, and railings. you're walking literally in the boat. You're not walking on the boat. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's very it's true. true. And look how tall the bulwarks are. I, I can walk up with two glasses in hand, not fearing for my life. And, and, <laughs> and, and yep. <laughs> Same here. You see the stainless steel accents so that the ropes are not rubbing on the boat. They are rubbing on stainless the, steel. They wrap yep. around. And not just a little bit. They're actually really going around. Yep. Everywhere you see extra drainage, so when you have when you take water over the deck, that it will drain out quickly. When you have some serious seas. So here we have some nice seating arrangement. Unluckily on shipment, we lost two cushions. <laughs> oh, just came in, so there's supposed to be a whole yeah, bench yeah, seat. Yeah. I understand. And this forward sun lounge when you sit right here you can convert that in oh beautiful oh, a nice seating arrangement so you can sit check this reversible out. backrest this, is, nice. this yeah. is one of my favorite features and it took me a minute to find the what it's officially the called <laughs> yeah. you know because everyone's like i don't know i'm like reversible, reversible. backrest i will remember that See? too and this one is nice and kind of low and wide it's not equal look this yep. side is, yep. is more like a, a loungy no, side it's and great this side, side's great it's great Awesome. And then here you have your hatch for your VIP, mm -hmm. so you get extra lighting and an escape hatch too. Yep. Mm -hmm. And look how this looks also like a, a big yacht here with a yeah. step down. Or so right? when you look at all the hardware from the stainless steel for the Enger winch, the whole roller system, that is all really high-end yacht quality. That's a super yacht size already. So we got a bow set up for two anchors. Yes. And let me open the hatch right here, then Absolutely. you're going to realize that we have all oh wow hydraulic winches not electric winches for the cap stands the anchor winch and hydraulic stabilizer system here you got a remote control for the winch right here with chain counter you can operate it from each of the helms what like this is can you make notes can can i please oh is this going on the list <laughs> that's going on the list we have a so, new boat build list that you know ah, the dream new boat build list and that's things are be on there. things go on the list. Usually. And when you, you see, already have hydraulic pumps on board, it's just a, it's almost right. a no-brainer. Like right. if you if you haven't already run it through the bow thruster, anyways, you yes. might as well extend it and use it Correct. for the anchor winch. You guys and should have seen Rico's face right now when he saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the finishes out the all the hatches are finished out on the inside, oh, yeah. inside and out. Then down there you see the fresh water wash down yep. hose and your handle for your winch. So everything is right there where you need it, not tucked away somewhere else. Yeah, that's a lot of chain on this one here. Oh yeah. And on this side you have more storage so you can get to the chain and here you see the massive hydraulic lines for the it's winch. More chain. Wow. Then you have a bosom locker right here. No oh. way. Okay, wait, I'll do this with you guys. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. Wow. Okay. And the same thing, look out the hatch, every I mean, hatch is finished out on the inside. I mean, look at this. All your dock lines, your inflatable fenders, just let the air out, put them all in here. Yeah, I mean, and they phenomenal. just threw now the covers in there, so let's keep going. The next thing is... I'm going to say I actually have never seen it done this way. That's pretty cool. You were Super. talking about your dock lines yeah. and everything. There's more? Oh, there's oh more. boy. So the forward would be fenders and everything, and lines, you got tons of it. Right and I, would, I need to point brilliant. that out every time how these 
hatches are finished out. I agree. I mean, if you guys look at this, it's as nice on the interior of the hatch like it is on the exterior. And also we did a quick run through the boat to see how we're going to film it for you guys. And when looking at this, you feel like the headroom in the VIP would be like majorly compromised because you have so much here. True. But it isn't. You're going to see it. It's pretty impressive. Of course, you have your control for your stereo right here. Okay. And for the night, you got lights. the pop-up lights pop on both sides. Yeah. Love it. And I also was going to point out that all the rails are just like this serious, thick, like no joke. Yeah. Um, to be able to grab yeah. on when everywhere. you're here, you got it's great. Handrails everywhere. Yeah, love it. Everywhere you need it, if you have some good seas, you can yeah. hold on to. Shall we uh, check out the... Flybridge. Flybridge. Oh, yeah. we got a water... Here we got a watertight side door and we will demonstrate that from the inside yep. how that door electrically sucks into the seal to make it 100% watertight. Nice. Awesome. And you see all the engine vents are on the inside of the boat. Yep. So when you're in rough seas, you're not going to get spray right to the engine vent. Just walking through, it was really, really safe. Everywhere you got handrails, yep. handrails. Exactly. That's and here you can at. even hold on to that door because that door is a solid stainless steel foldable. And like foldable. even this is just nice touches. Like the you little know, details, just right? Just little details and I mean, the quality, I mean, like just it's beautiful. Going up to the flybridge? Um, Going up the to fly the flybridge. I'll go after you. After me? Okay, one thing you will realize here, everywhere you have your sturdy handrails. Nice staircase here. And Really a, pretty. And a proper subwoofer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, haven't even up here yet, so wow, nice. Same Holy here. Moly. Really steady mounts for the beautiful sporty helm chairs. Really pretty helm chairs. Nice. I like them. Flip up. Yeah, yeah. Super so you have a lean cute. post, yeah. And having this good size steering wheel, you don't have to hunch over to grab the steering wheel when you're on the flybridge. This is really pretty. <laughs> it's like sound like a girl when I say it like this, <laughs> but it is really pretty. It looks amazing. Every time you say that, the guys go like, I agree like, with yeah, Rico, yeah. that was really pretty. I can see already there's some caterpillars installed on this boat here. What, what kind of caterpillars are on uh, here? It's the C12.9. That's your main diesel engines. And we have a hybrid system with 60 kilowatt motors slash generators. Mm -hmm. That means when you do run your diesel, you switch your electric motors in generation mode and you have up to a two 60 kilowatt generators. So you don't even need to run your generator when you're underway? Actually, on, on all our boats, you literally eliminate the need for a generator because when you're on anchor, your house load, everything will cover, be covered by the battery. So when you're on anchor on a mooring ball, no generator to listen to and no generator to service later And on. can you even run your air condition? Everything. Wow. We have 145 kilowatt hours in stored energies in the battery. Got you it. can run the whole boat off the battery. And are there still some solar panels which helping to like trickle charge it a little bit or not? Yeah, we do have solar panels on the roof, but with the size of their roof, we are only capable of three solar panels. They will keep okay. your house battery charged, but yep. not the lithium polymer, not the drive right. battery. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at least your regular usage lights, whatever, yes, little, little things are getting trickle charged, yeah. Now, this is the first boat we had with a new Simrad system, what mm -hmm. integrates the hybrid system and the motors into the Simrad. So you have everything on, and you see there are not rocker switches. You have mm -hmm. everything into the Simrad to switch on and off. Got it. Through the Simrad system. So here you got, um, you still have some trim tabs Yeah, you here. got the trim tabs here. You got your, that's your motor displays. Mm -hmm. What we do, all these are touch screens. But when you have salty fingers or wetness, yeah, yeah. I prefer to have the manual right here. So that's your autopilot and your GPS. So it's easier to operate it here than smearing smearing your screens. 100 percent, yeah. Uh, then you have your hydraulic balancer and thruster. Yeah. And your winch. And we have a remote control for the radio, the new Simrad, completely remote, no more yeah. cord, tying you to the helm. Love it. And, and of course, little for cell phones with charging ports. Yep. Right. And a fantastic visibility. I mean, you can see easily the entire bow. Like, so maneuvering would be extremely easy. Okay. Even the view backwards. If you want to back into a slip, the staircase down, you can see the transom right there. Can um, we talk about easy. the size of this flybridge? <laughs> One thing about the design team from Greenline slash Ocean class, they are very user 
friendly oriented. People always ask me, why do you have a starboard helm seat downstairs and a port helm seat upstairs? If you're docking to port, you have full visibility of the whole boat without cameras. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're docking to starboard, you go downstairs and you have full visibility. You have the door right and there. Right, the because you have your side door. Nice. So even we do have camera systems, but you can see every inch from the platform yep. to the bow from your helm seat without cameras. You don't have blind spots. That makes so and much sense. And when we go downstairs in a bit, you will see the same thing happens on the starboard yep. side from downstairs. Look how big this is, you guys. So I always say like, you know, our next boat needs to have a proper napping spot, uh. nappy place. <laughs> which, which apparently is not which a good thing in British. Which is not a good British. thing because in Britain, nappy means something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> As we found out. Uh, it's, like, it's like a diaper or something, right? I think so, yeah. 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 <laughs> so this As, is like very you, large. Like you realize, you have sun at the sun pad yep. and we have shade at the home station and Absolutely. the dining area. Yep. You don't want to have the shade on the sun pad. All right, let's explore the flybridge, yes? Okay. So, yeah, okay. of course, here we have our dining table. Yep. Plenty room here. And now, of course, we left that space open because you can put chairs here. You can yeah, put sun great. lounges here. Absolutely. Uh, so that's why we left it open for creativity for the new owner. How customizable, semi-customizable is it? Like if I'm ordering... Um, a boat is it this is always going to come production like this or can i let's say order to have a the beauty you know, about the green space. line factory slash ocean class is yeah. if you order a boat as long as we are not moving bulkheads we can do anything you so want so it is like semi custom basically you can do anything you want pretty much as long as we don't go into structural parts. Love okay. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this could be actually designed like if i want build in stuff here you could totally do that. Yes. Okay, good to know. All right, so I want to see what yeah, we I have here. I got to apologize. That came scratched <laughs> at shipping and we just received the boat. So this, you is, came this is brand new, you guys. It so it's still, hit, yeah, it it's still getting. The US. So yeah. we haven't even have the PDI done. It's not even commissioned yet. Yep. So there will be another shiny door like this and all green line style, of course, completely finished out. Properly ice finished. Maker. You got your ice maker. String fridge. You got your refrigerator and now you have your wet bar and oh, wow. your double grill. The really beauty cool. is you don't have to have your propane cartridge. Yeah, exactly. I love these grills because this, I'm always running out of them in the worst spot on the propane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you never sense. run out I've of them. I've used them a lot. They work fantastic. Oh, yeah. yeah. And here you see it's a nice cutting board where you really can cut stuff on. Yeah. Especially for lemon and all other nice stuff you need for good drinks. <laughs> the two drinks you're going to carry forward? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, up on a hard top, you see that we put an open radar dome on there because they are much more precise than the closed domes. And we have a digital TV antenna as well and the VHF antennas. Got it. I am really looking forward to checking out inside. Me too. Let's do it? Yeah. Okay. What a great boat. Look at this here. But well, first of all, everybody walking yeah. down from the flybridge usually holds on to the top. Well, they just went a step further and just put a grab handle here. So you actually have a grab handle to hang on to. All right, let's check oh. out the interior. All right, welcome to the inside of the Green Line. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still saying Green Line, but it is Ocean <laughs> Class 68. It's made by Green let's Line. have your double folding doors. <laughs> Look nice. at these hinges. This is serious. And Beautiful. now it's secured right here yep. with a latch on the bottom. And here you push your button and open this. Oh, that is the fastest and petition I've ever seen. Your bar is open. Nice. Welcome inside. Well, now we have the indoor oh. outdoor experience here. Right when you step into the salon, you have your breaker board right here. Everything on there, including the generator start and stuff. Everything is touchscreen. Mm -hmm. What gives you your status of the batteries. So we get our 12, uh, 24 volt systems and our 110. It's nicely yep. tucked away. So if the kids are on board or, you know, it's no one even knows it's there. No one can touch anything. Oh, I love it. Oh, this galley, this tape. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that table is our real, our focal point. We love that wow. table. It's a solid piece of it's Guys, gorgeous. Here's, here's, my, here's my hand. I mean, this is like a three inch thick piece yeah, it's of wood. it's really, really thick. And it's filled in with the gas. Oh my God, it is amazing. Yeah, it's really beautiful. 
Okay, so we have this table here, which yeah. is definitely, I mean, you could put chairs around yeah. if you want to sit inside. You're, you're indoor dining, yep. you're outdoor dining, and you can combine it with an open door. Right. Just combine it, half indoor, half outdoor. On ah. this particular model, we went with the upgraded all Miele appliances. As you guys love. One, I, wonder, the I wonder if the German heritage of the owner of this company had anything to do with that. Nah, probably not. So, we're a little proud of our engineering. So, here's the built in fridge. Look how gorgeous the fridge is, you guys. Look at this. Oh, I love it. And That's a really good look size Look at fridge. the Miele freezer. Perfect. So, I like to open everything up. I don't uh, know if you don't know please. that about me, but I really like. Oh, it has the closures I like. You know, they're on our list. Oh, uh, the quiet I ones. I love these. These are one of my favorite. This is so quiet. And they're self closing. Yeah. Ha -ha. yeah. Love it. Dishwasher. Miele, full Miele. size. This looks like a little garage door thing. I just pull it. Uh -huh. oh, we this call is it the huge. coffee maker garage because yeah. we have power in there so you can store your coffee maker right there. And then one thing I just noticed uh, walking in most of the yards we have been on don't have any kind of description what the switches are. Labels. For. Labels. Well done. Instead of trying to which one is which, <laughs> you just look at it and everything is labeled from the factory. There's still three switches on our boat by the door that I still don't know which one's which. I just <laughs> I figured it out. But yeah. Turn on and turn off. He's okay, like, come on, how long can you just take to figure this out? I'm like, I don't know. It's just they all look the same. So basically like a spice slash oils and yep, cooking yep. stuff. Love it. We have an oven here. Three burner cooktop with a large induction. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Got a vent, which I know for a lot of you guys is a big deal to have in the kitchen. Ha! The cabinetry is... What? Cabinetry is... What? Amazing. And another little feature you didn't even point out, so I'm going to do it. Oh, you see these little ledges yes. here? So when you underway and you open things up, yep. it, not everything is going to empty out on you. I touched it, I thought it, but I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. Love it. Okay, so then, oh, okay, this one is. You gotta push it's which that side? In oh, a little ah. bit. And now pull it out. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this is great too. Every inch, every Look inch of space this. is. And then if you go slow you. and then it comes. There we go. Rip. Oh! She's killing me. Okay. That's oh, that is amazing. Garbage. Oh, nice. So, yeah, the trash is organized, and you also have this whole thing here. Little storage mm -hmm. on top. Good for your you know, dishwashing utensils and all that stuff. It's not, I mean, it's not a massive galley, but it's it's got everything you need. And then there's this too. Another one. That's yes. the perfect spice. Great. And it fits wine bottles on the top, on the bottom. <laughs> you know you drink stuff. <laughs> I'm assuming you don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> Boats and drinks never go together, right? No. All right, look at the size of the sink as well. Yeah, really, size, really good size, size. Of, the, of the sink, really good. And then I don't know if you noticed this. They have yes. this little slanted, slightly raised edge on the countertop. And what is really cool about it is that it's not straight up like sometimes you see. It's slanted, so you can easily clean it. Easily clean which it. Which drives me nuts when you yeah. have this like straight up ones and just you can't even Wonder, get there. Wondering if a woman was involved in designing this boat because there's so many cool features on Probably. here. Probably. Probably. This is brilliant. This should go on the list as well. Yeah. Okay, going forward. So we have two little steps here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got our built-in meal of wine cooler. Wine cooler. Is it also a little touch yes. thing? Yeah, that is not um, commissioned yet. It's the one that goes... Yeah. It definitely needs commissioning because it is empty at the moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Usually the boats come well stocked. Yeah. Uh, we come in from boat shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so Love then, it. Do what not is waste that? any space. You're gonna have no. your built-in bar. Wow. Oh, it's two floors. <laughs> double floor bar. Yeah, almost as cool as a double rainbow. You're gonna open it. Yeah. And you're gonna I've... get the surprise. Thank you, thank you. And oh, you got the wine glasses gorgeous. organized. You can slide them out. This slides out? Yeah, the, the plexi slides out. Oh, no yeah. way. But don't drop it. Look at that. <laughs> nice. There's ledges everywhere, you yeah. guys. They really thought about this closure, sir. Amazing. Huge drawers. Okay, ledge everywhere. So we have a pop-up TV. This is really nice as well that it's sunken in so nothing is flying around. If you have some rough weather, so you can put all your stuff there. This table is awesome. Oh, that's Look at this look. coffee table. Yep. And a big pet peeve of mine, the couch that's like too short, not deep enough. 
This one's definitely very already deep enough. Very yeah, really exactly. comfortable. I really like the design of the and the woodwork. The woodwork um, is how it's all stunning. combined and matched together. And the the windows, the size of the windows. I mean, look at the the view out of the windows. It's yeah. Massive. Are they electric blinds? Yes. Enrico, look. This is kind of unique to have. It's more of a spotty, like, you know, instead yep. of just all over, it's just very nice. I'm, I think it looks pretty cool at night. And they're adjustable, it looks like. Yeah, you can, exactly. You can move them a little bit. And yeah. design-wise, that looks very cool and modern. So going forward, the helm is on the starboard side, as you've explained, which makes total sense. And of course, your helm seat is height nice. adjustable. And of course, forward and backwards adjustable. And you have your footrest. This one is beautiful. Very comfortable. You should try it out. You should have a seat first. I, I will. I always do. Sometimes I let him, but normally I sit in the chair. <laughs> well, you do have a captain's license. So. I do have so, one. Here is our side door. Yep. So you have an electric release button. So now you slide it out ah. to the side. And when you close it, it really you see locks. It? You wow. have this oh, yeah, yeah. electric latches who really pull it into the seal, so it's 100% watertight. It's, it's, it's great. And if you would lose power, you have a manual release here as mm -hmm. well. Oh, you pretty much the this? same okay. like pretty up on the top, right? Right. The only difference is we have the Simrad VHF built in where mm -hmm. we have the remote upstairs. But same thing, we have the touchscreen Simrads. We have the Simrad remotes for autopilot and the GPS. And of course, your anger windshield trim tabs, bow and stern truster, wiper control. Wiper controls, yeah, since we have a windshield here. Right. The nice thing is on the ocean glass, they feed the washing from the water tank. So you don't have a separate You don't tank. run out. You never run out as long as you have fresh water and you have water pressure. You have plenty of water to wash the windshield. What is this here? Is that the... Th That's the side power stabilizer system because we do oh, have zero it. speed stabilizers. Mm -hmm. So they work on anchor and on the move. And it's really impressive. And Wait. let's go check out the staterooms. I was going to leave you guys because you're I gonna just do that. can't yeah, 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 yeah. wait. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go starboard first. This is a guest cabin. Oh, it's beautiful. Again, I want to point out the thickness of the doors, the hinges and everything. Everything seems very, very well. Yeah, the woodwork built. is really, really nice. Look at this cute. And everything is so quiet. Yeah, yeah. Like all the closures. Look at, look at these beautiful portholes and okay, a very large TV. So we have a hanging locker here. Very nice. With the light up um, in the actual rod. Oh, hold on. The door thing. Oh yeah. Wow, that's a lot of space actually. For this, you know, the smaller size cabin. Ca yeah, smaller for cabin, sure. A lot of storage space. And there is an ensuite, which I think might be the the day head. The day head. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'll, uh, yeah. Hello. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> that's what I normally do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, this is beautiful. The floor feels so nice. I love the sink. The design of the sink is really nice. Mm -hmm. Thought about it. There's a ledge here. Another thing with a ledge. Oh, love it. Totally. Storage space. Great. And then you have this whole thing here as well. And then the shower. Oh, there's more. Oh, well, yeah. One person shower. I think I'm going to say yep. that. Yeah, but a, a good size. And again, I think this is, you know, more used as a day head and then you'll have that for, for so your state room. plenty, Very plenty nice. of room. I'll go this way, you go that way. All right, sounds good. Okay, so then we're going all the way forward to the VIP. That's the VIP. Something I would like to point out. Yeah. You see this wow. structure oh, in the this. window. That makes it an ocean glass. So the boat can take a real pounding without being afraid to fracture the glass. That's what's needed to get an ocean glass ready. I thought it's more like a design feature, which looks stunning, but hey, apparently it's got a, it's got a it's serve got to a double purpose. A serious structural feature. In terms of storage, we have these spaces here. Then we also have, look how beautiful this is, Rico. Yeah, yeah. It's really nicely done. This wood is gorgeous. Got TV your... built into the wall. You know, like there's that sensation happiness when you touch things. And mm -hmm. I think if I lived on a boat like this, like anytime you touch the wood, <laughs> it's like this. It just feels so Everything, nice. And all the finishes feel really, <laughs> really, really, really nice. nice. Yeah. There's another one here, of course, with lit up rod here. So you've got the your escape hatch right here, right. as we showed you guys from. And you can open it up for some fusion, breeze. Fusion sound system even in the cabin. 
Nice. Great. And we have an ensuite right here as well. Very similar. I think the shower is a little larger. It's larger, yeah. Look at me. I'm just volunteering and going to the shower now. Well, someone has to do it. This is beautiful. <laughs> Let it be it's me. It's gorgeous. Huh? Bench in the shower as well. Everything, the floor. Look, it's got that awesome drain that we like. Yeah. And then you have storage here as well, the medicine cabinets, and also down underneath the sink as well. Look at the size of these doors and yep. the hardware and the hinges, how they're built in. The, the, the German already pointed out, he, with yeah, this German, yeah, yeah. that German. <laughs> and you got seals in here, so when you seal that door... Wow. We can't hear you, what? <laughs> it no, really, it really, it really it, is it, sealed. It is, if you seal that... Can't hear him. Wow. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty much can't hear. No, it is really, it is really awesome. insulated. Okay, so we have full beam midship master. Oh, I'm going first? Okay, fine. All right, let's go check it out. Bye. Look at the height here. How tall are you? 6'2". Yeah, okay. Well, well I'm going to go in the corner. Step right here for us. I, I'm 6'2", I'm and... There's plenty of room. I got still plenty headroom plenty right in Plenty headroom. Wow. This feels really big this really feels like a 75 80 footer like at least 75 right mm -hmm. same structural feature in yep. the window so if you take an impact from the side it will not puncture the boat yeah and you're he's sta staying on the step up and he still can fit yeah six, six, yep. six two. Yep. this is definitely a big king size bed yes wow it's gorgeous uh where do i start so we have all of this here Let's see how deep it is Oh, yeah. Holy Lots moly! It's literally like all the way to here. Let me go oh, behind you. I can totally fit here. We oh, I didn't even see that. There. Look at that. Little Ooh. little work area. Nice work area. Love it. So we have this hanging locker here. Mm -hmm. More like a closet, to be honest. This is such a nice work area here. And you have your drawers here. Nice I mirror. Mean, that's all what you need, right? It feels really warm laptop, and inviting. Laptop space. Even in oh, your sorry. little chair, you have storage. I <laughs> feel like Kudo's met me before. Or maybe he's seen some of our videos. <laughs> um, okay. Always point out the yes. little hidden compartment. Yeah. Oh. oh! Wow, this is really bright now. Holy moly. So well, you now, saw it pretty much natural light, and now yeah. you see what it would now look like. Now natural light. Now you have the bright light. But wow. if you turn this off, now you have the side light, yep. and yep. when you turn them off, now you have the floor lighting. Oh, that's beautiful at night, huh? Just like that a night light. Good. Same thing here, matching basically on this side, his and hers. Oh, it's got some some uh, blankets here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty large couch. I mean, it's for a kid, it's definitely a bed. I mean, for some of our little friends, it's a bed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the ensuite, yeah? Sounds good. And the carpet is very nice, too. And again, we have a TV mounted, flush opposite side of the bed. Mm -hmm. So the ensuite is right here. It's got a pocket door. Close that, which is nice. You can just leave it open in your, in your stateroom. Same thing. We have some medicine cabinets. Looks like tons of space here. Nice amount of counter space. Wow. And a really nice shower too. How do you rate it? Two person Two shower. Person. <laughs> Two person shower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's gorgeous. Really nice. So you have the rain shower, but you still have a handheld as yeah, well. Yeah, you do. And he handheld? And he handheld shower head. <laughs> really nice. The sink is, is gorgeous too, really big. And what's behind you? The head. The head. So right we're going to do crew quarters next? Yes. Crew quarters? And engine room. Yeah. And then we're the engine go room. go from the crew quarters right into the engine room. Okay, we're going to follow you. Look at these details. Look how beautiful. It's just yeah. the nice design features everywhere right here as well. open the engine oh, head nice. so we get light through it too. Mm -hmm. We are not going to go down there, we're going to go through the group. Yeah, water. that sounds perfect. Oh, look at this insulation. <laughs> are you serious? It's a quiet running boat. <laughs> I want to point out right here, you have access to the crew quarters oh, okay, right great. from here. That, uh, An extra. Head. Mm -hmm. And you have this massive ceiling wow. transom door. Oh, that's great. Cool. Okay. Let me step in for yeah, first. For Okay, the crew quarters, you know, it's a 68 footer. It's, so it's a captain's it's quarters. It's a captain's quarters, really. So right here, there's some stuff stored here, but you know, there's okay, a bed so here. one bunk there. Yeah, yeah, you obviously put your legs that way. So yeah. you sleep, you have plenty of room here. 
And how nice of a breeze here today. Right? Yeah, it's beautiful. And you have an ensuite. Yeah, you... So it's a wet head. There's a drain right there. And this could be used as a shower. And I'm going to say, you guys, just, you know, make it clear. Most of the time, it's going to be an own operator. The size and the way this boat's laid out, it's perfect for someone else. But you could easily. I mean, it. I'm standing here. It's, oh, yeah. it's plenty. It's plenty what of space. What I said, if you're an owner operator, you really can use that as a day hat or a shower when yeah, you come to That's your beach club, beach club kind of, you know. Head. It's yeah, great. Yeah. Exactly. 100%. And also, look, you have a little porthole and that you can open you can, you can on the side You can create some nice cross breeze yeah, for sure. Well. Yeah. I'm going to let Rico and you do this. You guys right. go, go through the engine room together. I'll just so, hang okay. out. Welcome in the engine room. Here we do have a backup generator. We say you yep. eliminate the need, but if you would be long term Without show power, you can supplement and recharge your battery with the generator without starting the main. Got it. But it's not really necessary. You don't really need it. Yeah, yeah. Here we got the brains from all the hybrid system in the box. And you wow. see it's a 700 volt system, so that is sealed. So what is this here? That these oh, are, these the, are the batteries. These are the lithium polymer batteries who add up to 145 kilowatt hours. Wow, yeah, and everything is so clean. All the runs, the cable runs, hose runs. So here you see one of the 60 kilowatt motor slash generator. What will be powered through the Caterpillar or you can power your shaft through the gearbox with that 60 kilowatt motor. So this motor would power through this gearbox there, down the to the transmission right. and then to the, to to the, the conventional shaft. shaft. Correct, so you run your propellers. Yeah. Or when you run the diesel, you can clutch this in and that will be your generating. So, and you got two of them, one here and one here. So that's 60 kilowatt each. Wow. And right here we have our 1,000 horsepower Caterpillars. What will propel that boat to easy 25 knots. So it's a fast boat. So on electric power, you be capable of eight knots cruising yep. on strict electric. Which is, that's all what you need, I guess, when you yeah, do Yeah, actually, when you're here in the canal, you don't even you go five, yep. five, four, maximum six knots in the canal. So how long can you run at roughly, let's say, whatever, like six to eight knots on electric? You probably can run up to 20 nautical miles. Really? Yeah. That's a good run. Yeah, and the beauty here with the inner coastal, when you're in the inner coastal, every time you do slow speed, you go on electric, Yep. Every time you do high speed, you switch back to diesel. It takes even less time to recharge than you need to discharge. So you can do diesel electric, diesel electric all day long. Yeah, yeah. And you eliminate 90% of your idling hours out of the diesel. So engine services are being less frequent. Engine hours are going to be lower when you resell the boat. So it's, it's going to be a cost factor when you resell the boat. Oh, that's going to be a huge difference. 60 to 70% of the recreational boating hours are done in idle. Yeah. So you eliminate you most eliminate of these. that. Besides, it's better for the engines anyways, because they're not just constantly just in idle. Diesel hate to be idled. Yeah. We have a client with a green line who has 250 hours on the motors, but 750 hours on the electric units because he's doing a lot of the canal and cruising to the restaurants. So imagine selling that boat 250 hours or 1100 hours. And you know what? That's something I've never thought about, actually. Like, I mean, I get the part of, you know, saving fuel, like all that stuff, but never thought about the savings of the idle hours actually on the combustion engines. You know, I mean, that's well, huge. One real life experience, my wife and me, we were bringing the Green Line 40 to the boat show and like they told us be there at nine o'clock in Miami. I left here at 645 because I want to be there before nine. That's how I operate. <laughs> <laughs> so when we arrived there at nine, they weren't ready for us. So we were circling in front of the boat show, hundreds of boats circling in front of the boat show. When we tied up, it was 12.45. Yeah, oh wow. We left with 11.8 hours on the diesels. When we tied up, we had 12.2 hours on the diesel. All the other boats had six hours just more. Just, yeah, just cruising around, waiting just for their Just waiting, for their, idling for their turn. the marinas. And you could see some of the bigger boats when the exhausts start getting blacker and blacker because idling around is not good it's for not these good. big diesels. That's amazing. And so we have two massive fuel tanks still on the outboard yeah. sides, right? Yes. With uh, side glasses? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. And big inspection lids. Here in the back, you see the hydraulic system for the yep. stabilizers, the so power and stern thruster, and the winches. And then you and have the also platform. manual overrides if right. you ever had to use them. Seeing the engine C strainers are right there on the outside. The chiller systems for the, the AC. Th these are the, the energy efficient chillers already. Yeah. Yeah, really impressed.
what is the um, the size range of Ocean Class? Right now, the 68 is the only model. It's the we only have model. On the model. Okay. We do have up to 110 footers on the drawing board, but Got it. they are not in production yet. So in the future, you guys are planning to go up? Yes. Not smaller, because that's green that's line. That's green line. So we do have a line with, with green line, we start with 33, and we are building very soon a 55. So we have a full lineup between 33 and 55, and then we're going to start with 68 with the ocean mm -hmm. class and the plants are going up to 110. Thank you so much, Udo. We really appreciate it. This was fantastic. If you guys are interested in ocean class or green line, this would be your guys to contact. <laughs> All their contact information will be in the description below the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions that were not answered, or I'm sure a lot of you techie guys are gonna have all these crazy questions, put them in the comments underneath the video and we're gonna try to get them answered. Maybe we'll get Udo on checking those comments and uh, <laughs> writing you guys back. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. It was a real pleasure to have you guys on board and I think we all enjoyed it. Well, we'll see you on the next one, either Green Line or Ocean Class, depending right, yeah. on what's coming next. Exactly. <laughs> and maybe the next time we're gonna have a little more notice, we're gonna take you on a nice ride out on the ocean. Yeah. On a silent ride, on a s even down the river. Oh, I mean, yes. that would be. So, oh. so one question, are the thrusters working when you're on electric? Yes. Really? Yes, because How does we, that work? we power the PDOs with the hydro with the electric motors. Oh. Rika's face. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> he just turned Japanese really fast. Yeah. It yes. happened to me. I was going down the river here. One of the engines got an alarm turned off. I only had half of the hydraulic power I had with running with both engines. Now you're down one engine and half of the thrusting power you have with the current going up or down the river in front of a closed bridge, it's not a really good position to be in. <laughs> no, you don't want to be cut with any mishaps on this river. No. It is, it no. gets ugly quick. And that's one beauty of Green Line and Ocean Glass, it's the redundancy. We have a PDO on both gearboxes, yeah. so you can run them on the diesels or on electric. You have two diesels, two electric motors, and they all power the, the hydraulic system. And then when you run the generator, can the generator charge the lithium ions? Yes. Okay. And one thing why we added a generator, because we have a, a zero speed stabilizer fin system from side power. So when you be on anchor and you're running everything and you have the stabilizer working hard when they want to work on electric, yeah. then it's nice to supplement with the generator. Got it, got it, yeah, yeah. And we are in Fort Lauderdale, the party is on. <laughs> Make some noise. Here we go. It's Fort Lauderdale, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that was brilliant. I think he's been drinking since eight, yeah. Yeah, seven. <laughs> well, as always, you guys, thank you so much for all your likes, share, comments, and what else did I forget? Thumbs up, subscribing. Yeah, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy the outtakes. And if you're still not following us on Instagram, this is mine and this is Rico's. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. What? <laughs> the diaper. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Point. <laughs> He's gone. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce you one of the owner of Green Line slash Ocean. That's German. Hello. Hi, Hi there, how, how are you? And German is from St. Petersburg. No way. She's from St. Petersburg. I'm from Russian St. Petersburg. Yeah. Yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we can speak German and you can speak Russian. Yeah. He and, his, he and his partners are the brain and uh, ownership behind Green Line Yards in Slovenia. Incredible work. Well, that all depends on his performance. So far, he's doing okay. Yes, yeah. I'm okay, I'm doing okay. Very nice to meet you. Would love to. Okay, good luck. Nice to meet you. Yeah, echt beeindruckend, muss ich sagen. Okay. Oh, you're there. <laughs> if you haven't checked out our Patreon page yet, make sure... Okay. There you go. In di in di indoor dive. Are you hiding in the engine? What's I your head? I'm going to hide right here. What's your head? <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to the channel, make sure you stay up to. Da, da. And. Bye! Okay. <laughs> <laughs>